Hello everybody, Joe here with Garden of Luma. In today's video, I have my Parfianca pomegranate tree, as you can see here. And I wanted to do an update video to a video I did earlier in the year describing some of the issues that you can have with the quality of the fruit here in the Phoenix, Arizona area growing pomegranates. A lot of times I've seen people have issues with saying like the arrows are white when they cut open the fruit. And 90% of the, the pomegranate trees that you'll find here in Arizona are the wonderful variety. And wonderful pomegranates are not white fleshed inside. They are a deep red. So I've heard people just say that it's the type of variety that you have. That's why you have the white, white arrows inside. And arrows, when I say that, I'm just meaning the seeds with the flesh that you eat. And so there are varieties that do have white arrows but those are very uncommon to find here but one of the main issues with that is just going to be that you're harvesting them a little bit too early they'll look like they're ripe and ready to harvest in september and october but here you need to get that chill to get that deep red color and we usually don't get that until halloween we got really cold this year on Halloween night, and that's typically the case. We get a little bit of chill around that time of the year, and after that is when you'll start seeing the red color. In places like California, they start harvesting pomegranates in September and earlier in October. And I believe it's because it is cooler there. They get that color and the pomegranates are ready to go at that time. I think they would be here if we have that chill, but we just stay too warm. In my earlier video, I talked about that. This side of the tree, I left some of the earlier blooms on it. And then this side, I left some of the later. And I did notice the earlier side seemed to start cracking sooner. You typically, typically get a couple blooms early in the spring. It'll start blooming in like March and then again in April-ish. So you might want to remove the early bloom and let the late bloom go to get, you know, prime quality fruit here. As you can see here, this is a fruit, and I'm gonna harvest this for you guys to show you. It has a bag on it, and it actually has two of these bags on it. So these are large organza bags, and these are like a must here. We have the leaf-footed bug here that's a major problem for pomegranates. And these bags will keep the bugs from piercing the flesh of the skin. And when they pierce the flesh of the skin, you get rot. I've harvested several pomegranates this year and have not had any issues with mold or rot. Whereas last year when I didn't cover, I had a bunch of my pomegranates just ended up really rotted inside and just inedible. And so you have to double bag it because if you single bag it, the material will go right up against the skin of the fruit and the bugs can still pierce through that. So if you double bag it, keep it looser off the fruit that is what you want to be doing to keep the bugs off. Early in the season, I saw some bugs on the fruit, but they couldn't get to the to the skin of the fruit to pierce it. So eventually they just kind of left the tree and I didn't really see any leaf-footed bugs throughout most of the year after that. You really want to be diligent about getting those all your fruit bagged. And I thinned my crop this year just to try to get better quality. And so that's one thing I did. So again, you know, the chill hour um, is what's gonna turn the fruit deep red. You wanna make sure you're bagging and protecting the fruit from those leaf-footed bugs. That's gonna be the issues you get with rot and mold and different things like that. I'm gonna cut this open for you guys just to see what it looks like inside. So let me clip this off here. Okay, so before I cut it open here, I just wanted to show you what the fruit looks like. Really nice color to it, smooth, glossy. Looks like it's ready to go, so I'm gonna cut this open for you. But I've been harvesting these pomegranates since about mid-October, 
And like I said earlier, before Halloween, they were more of a clear white arrow inside. Still tasted good, but you don't get that deep red color until we get some chill hours, some colder nights. So let me cut this open here. There you go. So here you go. You can see it. I mean, it's not as deep red as some of the others I've had, but it is got that red color. And this is the third issue that I've had with pomegranates here in Arizona. Let me see if I can get closer. You can see kind of the discoloration of the arrow. And it almost looks like, I mean, it's hard to see on camera, but it almost looks like that freezer burned look you get on meat that's freezer burned, like chicken. If you leave it in the freezer for too long, it's got like a distorted look on the arrow. And I have not been able to figure out what that is. That seems like a common issue. Again, I don't know if maybe November is too late to harvest these, but we kind of have to to get that color. So like I said, in, in places like California, they're harvesting in September, October, and they actually look here like they're ready to pick around that time, but you just don't have the color to the fruit because we don't get that cold. So I don't know if it's just because they're maybe a little bit past their prime and they get that, or if it's other issues, if it's just our extreme heat that causes that, if it's like a disease or fungal thing or something that causes that. I have not been able to figure that out. So if you guys have any insight on that, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. But that tends to be a common thing with pomegranates here too, is just the arrows aren't that smooth look that you get like out of a grocery store fruit. It's kind of got just like a rougher coating. I mean, it still tastes fine, but it just doesn't have that prettier look like you would see if you cut a grocery store fruit or something like that. So I don't know if it's a watering issue. I don't know if it's like fertilizing or what it is. But anyways, there are some tips for getting better quality pomegranates here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. Check me out at gardenofluma.com for more tips on gardening and growing fruit trees, especially in hot, dry climates. Thanks for watching.